Welcome to another Comic Layouter tutorial. For this, we will be learning about cropping and capturing. So, you fold up Comic Layouter and open up Crate.Swift from it. Now, I'm going to open up a scene that I've already made. So, here I have a little gif sort of thing I've made. So what we do, let me see, I've got all my frames pre-done. So what we do to get started is we need to set up a cropping for the, for the project. So what I do is first I put it in the theater mode so I can see. Then I push F12 to activate the cropping tool. Now, we need to find the top left of the cropping. Up there. Now we hold right click and stretch it over as far as we can without messing anything up. That looks okay. Now push F12 again to turn it back off. Now, to start capturing, all you do is push F6. And that captures your first image. As you can see, there it is. Didn't have to pull up Bandy Snap, didn't have to pull it over, it's just right there. So, all I do is repeat this, just push right, of course, to open up the next part. Push F6, push right, F6, right, F6. Make sure to give it a little bit of time takes a little bit of time to capture. Just do it like so. Just slowly capture all of your frames. I want to make sure not to do it too fast. If you notice that the screen doesn't change, you might want to try pushing right again because it might be in the process of capturing. But as you can see, here we have all of our frames. I don't think Ray is too pleased about this. So, now, from this point, you could save your comic or save your GIF. If you do your comics, you can go into borders and separators and do your borders from here hmm. with these higher quality things it might be harder to see let's turn it up a bit let's make it fairly bold so I can show you what borders actually look like from this so you can see there's a black border around all of it So if you were to make a comic, this is what it would be like. Now, if you were to make a GIF, what you do is you click on GIF Previewer. So now we can mess around with timing. Now, all these numbers um, are the timing. The, 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 these two boxes are just two different flavors of each other. Whether you want to do delay in milliseconds or if you prefer frames per second. Either or. So, for this, then I'm going to try 8 as the starting time, which is this global time, is what starts at. I think a little bit slower. Mm, slightly faster maybe and I think for this last frame this frames a specific timing is so you can change the timing in at a certain point so I'm gonna make it really slow here so that way you can really see Raymu's face her reaction to this so now there you go Alright, from here, after you've set your timing in the GIF Previewer, 
can go in after you've closed that. Uh, you can now go in and save your GIF. Go file, save as GIF. If you do save as comic, you just choose the name, you just click OK, and then you've got it. You've got whatever was in here. Oops. It's for saving GIF. Just go ahead and save that. And this little box is um, for determining a couple features. One is global timing. Of course, you've done, we've already done that in the GIF previewer, so we don't need to worry about this. And quality. I'm going to set this all the way up. And you can see it's slowly beginning to process the frames. Probably going to cut this out. All right, almost done. And there, the GIF is now saved. And this is what the GIF looks like. Well, I hope you found this tutorial for capturing, cropping, and saving GIFs and comics useful.